What's going on, team? It's your boy G, aka Janato Sensei. We back at it again with another episode of Janato Explain, man. Today's episode, we're gonna be talking about WandaVision. Let's get it. Alright, man. So today's episode is gonna be called Testing Boundaries, bro. Because that's what this episode did. This has been my favorite episode out of all of them so far, bro. Honestly. And I don't know how they keep doing it, but they just they just keep doing it, bro. They keep exceeding my expectations. Now, with all that went down in the last episode with Vision finding out what's really going on with Wanda to Quicksilver making his reappearance being brought back to life like I didn't know how they were going to even top that because that's like a really good reveal right there that was a really good reveal it wasn't like Luke Skywalker-esque reveal but you know what I'm saying it was it's still up there it's still up there for sure but like I said this episode was really all about boundaries bro and testing those boundaries because not only were the kids breaking the fourth wall and talking to us as an audience from like you know the sitcom standpoint of the times that we're in this is kind of like the sitcoms that I grew up watching also with the way that everybody's starting to talk to Wanda because before they were kind of afraid to now the secret's out Wanda is in control of Westview and everybody is just going with the flow when discussing with Wanda how Quicksilver actually got here he literally said this is what you wanted right these are the moments that really take this show over the top because what I'm realizing is that a lot of things that happen throughout the episode really just be distractions to what's really going on and for some reason not only does Wanda not know what's really going on but I don't think she wants to find out I think she just wants to continue to live in the moment and just live her best life. But with Vision being Vision, he couldn't let that happen, man. So we start out the episode with a whole lot of tension between those two because they almost went to battle last episode when Vision found out that Wanda was really in control of all these people and that he couldn't really remember a time before this time. And with Monica and Darcy and Agent Wu really fighting for them on the outside, and sword we don't know what sword's next move is going to be at this point because they already made her mad by shooting a missile at her and then after the director got finessed he decides to take it out on darcy monica and Wu by kicking them out but lucky for them darcy is a computer whiz and was able to hack in to their network and see what they were looking at which was the director was actually watching vision because vision could be the key to this whole thing even though he's dead quote unquote He's alive in this world. But the most important thing that we learned from them actually tracking Vision is that the further and further people are away from Wanda, the less control or quote unquote less control that she has. They're actually pretty stagnant. Vision went up to multiple people trying to see if they were okay. Agnes tried to actually leave and she was stuck at the light at the end of the road. And when Vision woke her up, she broke it down to him. She told, not only did she tell Vision that he was actually dead, she explained the extent of Wanda's control over them. She almost actually had a panic attack, but Vision set her back and then she drove back to who knows where. But once he got to this point, he didn't turn around and go back. He actually pressed forward and started breaking through the hex. Now, whenever I saw this, I was like, okay, once he actually gets out of there, he's gonna die. I thought it might have been like a lot more instant, a lot less painful looking, but this was definitely one of the coolest moments in this episode. But it seems those who have powers in this world aren't affected as much. They seem to have a little bit more leeway when it comes to making their own decisions. Now, granted, all of those people are a part of her family, including Quicksilver and her two sons who actually start getting powers this episode, but also Vision, who was able to send out a message to the people of S.W.O.R.D by forcing his way through the hex to warn them about the people inside. Now obviously this instantly triggered him to start deteriorating, becoming big piece of vibranium that he really is. And when that started happening, that's when Billy actually starts to get his powers and he's able to see Vision in pain and tells Wanda who actually expands the barrier, takes over all of Sword's operation, turning it into a circus, leaving the director and only a couple people in a car running away 
away, just seeming to barely get away from the hex and being caught up in Wanda's vision. Not only saving Vision himself, but taking control of a considerable amount of Sword's operation. Now, Monica and Wu got away because they were going to rendezvous with a contact that Monica had to try to get back in the hex. But Darcy stayed behind to see what was really going on, to find some more secrets that was locked away in Sword's database. She was actually handcuffed to a truck, no less, which is kind of messed up because they left her there. Now, she's in the hex herself. Now, we don't know what kind of character she's gonna have, but we know what the Hex does to people. Monica has been through the Hex twice and her actual like molecule in, in her body and her blood, she's already changing to the point where she's starting to get powers, but they haven't really awoken yet. But we get our first taste of understanding what she's gonna be which is really cool. So that's why I named the episode Testing Boundaries. Not only did that happen physically with, you know, her expanding the hex, but also with the fact that everybody now knows and can talk openly pretty much about her being in control of them and this all being her doing. Why is this happening? How did this start? Because she just picked up Vision's body and just left and just, just made it happen. Now for me, I think it's like an overarching, you know, cosmic thing that is controlling Wanda to do these things. I can possibly see Galactus becoming a part of this. I could possibly see, you know, Dr. Doom, um, even like Dr. Strange. I don't know. Whoever, whoever pops up next, I don't know who the big reveal is going to be, but I could tell you this, man, this show, this show is definitely top tier for sure. As far as, as far as Marvel shows go, because the multiverse theory that is happening within phase four, the possibilities are endless, bro. Cause we, we know that, you know, there's a Spidey verse, you know, we know about the X-Men universe. Now with the MCU itself always been by itself, no crossovers, but with the recasting of Petrov and Quicksilver, who was the actual Quicksilver from the X-Men movie, who knows, bro, who knows, who knows who's next? honestly um but i don't know i just think i just think this is cool bro and also last thing wandavision could also be the way she's looking at people too you know because it was like wanda and vision and then it was like wandavision as a television and now with the second with this being the second time that we didn't seen her bring back a dead person and her actually looking at them and it'd be a corpse like an actual corpse. That's just another like entendre of like what the possibilities are. So I'm not putting nothing past them, bro. I'm gonna just keep on watching. Let me know what you guys think of the episode down in the comment section. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video, man. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel for more. And I'm gonna catch y'all later, man. Y'all know the vibes. Always keep growing to you. It's me, your boy G. I'm gone. Peace.